wonder how do you go outside and paint without being caught. And when you go outside, it's not always about not being seen, you know. You can hide in the bushes and have lookouts as much as you want, but if you spend enough time outside, eventually you're going to miss somebody and they catch a glimpse of you. So it's not always about not being seen, but also about not being recognized. And that's where costumes come to play. Well, you get your costume, and you go outside, and the thing is, you don't try to hide, and you don't look suspicious. You just go about your business as if that's what you do every day. And nobody will bother to look at you, or nobody would dare to look at you because you're just some guy in a dress. Why fairy? Well, I don't know, why not? It's just that if somebody saw you outside and they see some dude in a fairy costume, there's not much they're gonna do about it. They call the police and they say, hey, there's this guy outside and he's painting the walls and he's, he's wearing a fairy costume, then the police are gonna be more worried about him than they are about me. On the other hand, if you wear a ski mask or even just a hoodie, people expect you to be up to something especially if you're wandering around in the middle of the night. Of course, it also has other plus sides. The long blonde hair hides your face as you go, and the skirt itself is also very flattering. The leggings are actually very light, flexible, and to be honest, it's very comfortable and refreshing to go outside with it. I actually quite like it. It really lets the wind blow and the air flow through. The wings can be a pain. They tend to fold up and, well, you know, they look pretty when they're open. People don't like to look at things that stick out, so I figure if you stick out the most, people will avoid looking at you at all costs. Well, that's why it's not about attention, it's about diverting attention. You're so obvious that they don't want to look at you. People will avoid eye contact with you in an elevator or the subway, even if you dress normally. But so now, if you have a man fairy in front of you, you're you're now basically invisible to him. Oh, it can be very rewarding. It starts out with an idea in your head. Sometimes it quickly turns out that idea was crap, but sometimes you get it cut out, you bring it outside, and you apply it to a wall. And when it's all said and done, it's a, it's a very good feeling. Sometimes people laugh, and that's cool. That means they're enjoying you. They're not having a problem with you. Sometimes they even want to hang out. Which is a problem for me, because obviously at the time, it's, uh, it's not the right time for me. But, you know, you just smile back, and they see it as a positive experience. They look back at it and smile. If I had one thing to say to everybody, life's crazy enough as it is and people tend to take themselves too seriously. Life is weird and you're never going to know what works out until you try it because it's only once you take yourself and others outside of the comfort zone is when you really start to have fun in life. Oh and overall, nobody wants to look at the guy in the dress.